Greetings. This is Robert Porsche with the uh, YouTube channel Truth. And it's a little bit windy right now. Um, I'm in out of the wind somewhat. And I, I wanted to uh, go ahead and show you a couple of things here. Uh, we had, uh, we're going to have high tide at 11.13. I'm in Cherry Grove, South Carolina, where we call it the point. And right now the uh, moon is high in the sky, as you can see right in the middle of the view there. I've got some spectacular uh, sunrise and moon photos uh, captured with the P900 and the P1000 from this area. Today would have been a spectacular day for another sunrise. I've got lots of them. Um, so you could check those out on my channel if you care to. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. I uh, have mentioned I'm getting ready to go to the Flat Earth International Conference in Denver, Colorado. Very aware that the New World Order favors that location, um, which is one of the reasons I'm particularly excited about going there. Um, all stickered up with the YouTube Truth vehicle and shirts and all of that. I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth, right? You've maybe heard me say that a couple of times. That's, uh, that's the reality of this. One of the things that I said recently, if, uh, if you're not prepared to die for what you believe the truth is, you maybe haven't found it yet. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got out here. It's a challenge to uh, to get real clarity of uh, view with um, oh different things that can be on our lenses, the lens of our life, the the lens of our camera. There's a lot of distraction in life, and I what I'm endeavoring to do is to uh, show you what I believe the truth of this world actually is. So when I label this truth, I'm not just talking about uh, today's video, today's live broadcast that will go up to YouTube. It's, it's my social media profile. What I'm about is uh, wanting to share the truth of the world that we live in to the ends of the earth around the clock. And by God's grace, I have the opportunity to do that. So just to be very clear, the evidence of a non-moving Earth with the sun, moon, and stars moving above the face of the Earth, that is obvious. Because the sun and the moon move different courses through the, the seasons and the phases, especially of the moon. Okay, so there's multiple directions of movement going on with the sun and the moon and uh, it doesn't add up on the uh, heliocentric or spinning globe lie. It really doesn't matter <clears throat> to me how many um, letters you have around your name, Doctor of Divinity. <laughs> Maybe you're, you're uh, fashioning yourself as a theologian that believes we live on a globe. Sorry, you're deceived. Anybody who believes we live on a globe is clearly deceived. There's no nice way of saying that. The truth is that we live on basically a level plane. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how many, uh, how many followers or how many millions of subs you've got. I'll use other people's subscribers. For example, PewDiePie or Triggered Troll or Vice News. I've got, God has seen fit to give me millions of views of saying, we don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. Um, when I talk about you don't feel yourself spinning, wobbling, gyrating, I'm pretty rock solid. I am. I'm a biblical creationist, unapologetically biblical, in the truth movements that are basically a smorgasbord of spirituality. I'm not singing kumbaya with the rest of the world, uh, telling them everybody gets to go to heaven. Only God's children and the elect angels get to. 
Satan's children, they're not going to be interested in this message. Right now, I can't share to groups. I can't even comment in a group. So for all the, uh, uh, just so you know, it gets kind of complicated. I can react to a comment or a post. Um, maybe that'll change soon. I'm not sure. One of the reasons why I've encouraged more people to have a YouTube channel called Truth, what happens if, uh, if I'm taken down or taken out? What about that then? It's a business card. Pretty, pretty straightforward. If somebody wants to really reach out, they can. Um, all my stuff is easy to find in public. This is actually a sticker. This one is can put it on a computer or a coffee cup. Repurpose whatever you want. If, if you disagree with what I'm saying the truth is, go ahead and like your own videos. I, I like my videos. It puts them in my liked video playlist. There's thousands of occurrences of my photo album and thousands of photos. That's millions of occurrences of my photo album slash uh, YouTube channel links. I do that because it makes a difference. I've had people tell me they really like what I'm about, what I'm doing. I'm glad to hear that. I really am. Not, not because I, I feed off of other people's approval. What I, what I feed off of is the Word of God his Holy Spirit living in and through me to do what he created me to do. So I get to do what I want because he, the creator of this world that lives in and through me and all of his children that are actually born again now, he puts the want to do what he created me to do. It's a perfect fit. He's not a cosmic killjoy saying, uh, uh, uh. That's too much fun for you. I want you to be miserable. Not at all. Not at all. I'm going to be going to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. Last time I was there, I was getting loaded on drugs. I don't need them anymore. I don't need pharmaceuticals or street drugs. None of it. Don't need any of that anymore. It's a big deal because I'm a free man. If I was riding dirty... I wouldn't be able to have a public persona like this. Are you kidding? <laughs> they would love to arrest me for, uh, for drug dealing or drug transporting. Hey, if something happens to me, it's not going to be an accident. Uh, nothing in this world happens that God doesn't cause or allow. So if I should have a, a, a heart attack, if I should be caught with drugs or something like that. You can know that was all a setup. Um, I'm a really healthy guy. One of the things that I want to share with you is, uh, I get this quite often, what does it matter what the shape of the earth is? If it doesn't matter that they're lying about just about everything, if that doesn't matter to you, then, then you're not my kind of people at all. I love the truth. I love to hear, share, and obey the truth. Jesus, ultimately, is the way, the truth, and the life. There's life found in Christ. Uh, you can call him the Alpha and Omega, your Heavenly Father. I call him my, my Heavenly Father. He's the creator that took up flesh and, and dwelt am, among us. Um, you can call him Yeshua. If you think you can adhere to the Torah... <laughs> Uh, just check out the book of Galatians or Colossians or Ephesians. If you're a Torah observer and you think that by adhering to the commandments, you're going you're gonna to be entered into heaven, uh, no, no. God's grace is required to adhere to an obedient walk with him. God's grace is required. It's humanly impossible to obey the Scripture biblically because the Holy Spirit needs to do what I cannot do, what you cannot do. If we could do it, we wouldn't need Jesus. We wouldn't need Yeshua, 
Yahweh. If we could do it, well, basically what I understand, Lucifer, the fallen one, now called Satan, you can have it your way. <laughs> do your own thing. That's not, that's not my God. My God is the God of the Bible who created this world. He took up human flesh, dwelt among us, and then he takes up residence in his children at some point in the human experience. Happened to me just about four years ago. Some celebrate uh, October 31st as uh, Reformation Day. I do. Um, others celebrate it as a satanic high holiday. Bummer. They're not my kind of people, not as in my family per se. However, they may be children of God that need to be born again and have whatever bondage they're in released. They need to be set free from that. Like I was. I was set free from a life of addiction and my own self-effort. Let's take a, a pan around here and just show you what this looks like. This is the Russell R. Burgess Coastal Preserve. There's a good amount of wind out here. We've got the moon definitely getting hit by the sun. However, or it, it, it gives off its own light too. We can see where it's reflecting off of the glass on the buildings there. The level horizon with no visible curvature, can't find it. The uh, globe exists in the mind of the deceived and the deceivers. I was one of those deceivers. I was unaware that the globe was even a lie. I didn't even know it. So I was part of it. I was part of perpetuating a deception I didn't even realize existed. When I was a child, I was told Santa Claus to live, be good, so Santa brings you presents, right? Uh, I was I was given that lie. I believed it. Almost anybody I've ever talked to about uh, the Santa Claus deception believed it. And then we realized that it's impossible for a, an old guy wearing a red coat being flown around by flying reindeer could deliver all the presents in an evening. That's not reality. So the truth about Santa Claus is that whole thing is a lie. It doesn't matter how you might have a, a nativity scene with Santa kneeling in front of uh, the baby Jesus and the uh, wise men. That's still all a lie. It's all a lie. Okay, so I'm all about wanting to expose the reality of the world, which I believe reality and truth are, are interchangeable. So, for those embracing the godless cosmic Big Bang promoted by NASA and theoretical physicists and quantum computer programmers programming a false reality through computer graphic imagery and all of that garbage promoted on television and yes, on, on YouTube as well. There's a lot of deception on YouTube and on Wikipedia. It's all over the place. The truth and deception are intermingled all around us. I believe that's the reason why it's only by God's grace that anybody can love and believe the truth, let alone find it. How are you going to know what the truth is? So, for example, um, People will use the Bible to validate contrary perspectives. How does that work? Well, evidently it works really well. That's the way God created it. So that the insincere investigator is going to be able to confirm whatever lie they want to believe. I'm just unapologetically biblical and I love the truth. That's, that's what you get with me. So with ever, whatever uh, kind of coverage I get at the uh, conference or on my way there, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I was ready at the last conference. 
uh, this this time is going to be a little bit different um, because I'll be known by most anybody there that's been following the flat earth movement and certainly all the alphabet agencies NASA CIA FBI all of that that's all part of a psychological operation to deceive humanity of course they know who I am they know who you are they know who almost everybody is there's maybe a few people that are that are under the radar so to speak but uh, between uh, the the creator of this world and his adversary we're known and the artificial intelligence that's online and ubiquitous it's all over the place um, we're we're being tracked traced databased and threat assessed what kind of a threat are we well it you know what I'm not afraid and that's part of the the swagger that I bring to this is it's because I'm not afraid of what Satan uh, a fallen angel could do to me do you think that Jesus was afraid of Satan in the in the temptation accounts at in the Gospels no Jesus knew exactly who he was and he knew who Satan was that same uh, the the Holy Spirit that was resident in Christ is resident in me and in all of his children that are actually born again the very unpopular reality I bring to the discussion is I thought I was born again until I actually was that should give a lot of people pause what in the heck are you talking about well I was trying to do this life in my own strength and it's kind of like the the child playing uh, uh, chopsticks and then the the composer sits next to the child and starts playing with them and plays beautiful music it's better than that uh, it's better than me getting some extra help with what I was doing the me that I was is gone I died when when the Holy Spirit took up residence in me the the me that I was that was only the flesh is gone dead buried gone I died it's now the mystery is it's now he who lives through me he's the one that lives through me and I get to enjoy this this life of looking at a world with new eyes different eyes and a and a different way of uh, seeing everything so I haven't given up the eternal perspective it's all about that However, the uh, YouTube truth, I believe, is the powerful big story that I'm bringing to the discussion. And it's not just me only. It's the reality of how so many of us found out the, the fact that we were being lied to on epic proportions because there were others that preceded us that had the, the courage to share the reality the truth the truth that the official story of 9-11 of 2001 was impossible the the official narrative that was programmed into humanity was not possible it wasn't reality the the fact that over 500 years ago they came up with a spinning ball hurling through space with stuff stuck to the bottom of it and to the side of it the heliocentric sun worshiping idolaters that the pagan cults are are all about yeah that's all a satanic doctrine of demons second thessalonians chapter 2 says perpetually to all spiritual entities all of creation they refuse to love the truth and so be saved for this reason God sends them a powerful delusion so it's more than a satanic deception Satan will use who and whatever he can he tries to use everything he can God uses it all the God who created this world uses everything including Satan so for the people hating on me I feel sorry for them. I, I do even even if they're family members or personal friends I've known for years 
if they believe we live on a globe, I know we're deceived, uh, that they're deceived. I know that we don't live on a globe. There's a lot of theological perspectives that people can hold to, and it's hard to really know how that works out. For example, God's sovereignty and salvation, and yet he holds man responsible. Man can't believe in God unless God opens his or her eyes, their eyes, removes the veil. Well, the veil has been removed from me, from my eyes, from my perspective, and I'm so grateful for that. So when, when somebody recently commented on one of my moon videos where I said NASA lies, that's the title, hashtag NASA lies. He says, I see no proof that NASA lies on your video. Well, it's like a billboard on the internet. I take photography that blows people away of the, the sun and the moon and, and the creation. And that, I believe, is the reality. The evidence is that that sun and the moon are way closer. That's the evidence. The evidence is all over my profile on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever I am. And it's like a, what it, what it is, is it's a reservoir that we all contribute content to. When I put hashtag NASA lies and I create a video and put that out there, and you can see the, the beauty and majesty of creation, and I'm acknowledging the God who created this world as the reason that we exist. If you've got a problem with that, I'm sorry to hear that for you. I don't monetize my channel. I don't believe I ever will. I don't need to. I, sh I do this at my own expense that God provides the money for. He provides the, the resources to do what I do, so I don't have any corporate strings attached to me uh, by any corporate sponsor saying, uh-uh-uh, we don't want you talking about this or that. There's no way I would, I would be hindered or restricted by that. I'm not a 501c3 organization. I'm not asking anybody for money. The proof that we live on a level plane is all around us. It's the reality. Water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth, and does not conform to a spinning, wobbling, gyrating, oblate spheroid supposedly hurling through space. That's ridiculous. If you believe that lie, I feel sorry for you. At this point in human history, with the internet and all that's uh, the interconnectivity of the increase of knowledge, if you can't see how obvious it is that the, the governments of the world are lying about traveling to space and to the moon and Mars, if you can't see bubbles coming from helmets and, and uh, CGI background, excuse me, footage of the international fake station, NASA lies. The CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, lies. Hollywood lies. The corporate controlled medias of this world, they're lying. If you don't think that matters, I'm sorry for you. Of course it matters because the short answer is the truth matters. If you don't think, if, if you were to, let's say you're married and you were to say to your husband or wife, are you seeing somebody else? Are you being physically intimate with somebody else? Would you want to know the truth? Well, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. The truth matters about that. If, uh, if you were to go in to have some, some physical testing to see if you've got a cancer or, or something like that, would you want the doctor to tell you the truth? Of course. Of course the truth matters. The truth matters about uh, what, what our children are being taught, what we're being told is the official reason to go to war. Is there a good reason to go to war? In, in all of my recollection of the 
official stories of the, the wars that we've engaged in, I found out that they're lies. They're lying about the reasons to go to war, to enlist our, our children or our friends and family to kill other people that have different ideological perspectives. We're given lies. So if that doesn't matter, bummer for you. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. My house, this house that I live in, is the visible representation of what my soul is carried around in temporarily. We're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. Three people per second no longer have that human experience. They're gone. Uh, they, they can't decide anymore. So um, getting ready to go to the conference includes a lot. It, it includes a lot. Um, so what I'm going to say is, I may be, if you've noticed that I haven't been as active on commenting or, or that on uh, different posts, that's, that's fine. It's because what I've done a bit of is working on some of the, some of the details about being all ready for the, the travel time. Uh, to have everything that I want to have with me and to be extremely professional uh, when I show, not just when I show up there, when I show up in, in front of you. I used the flow B on my hair this morning, a little groomer. I don't have hair growing out of my ears and, and nose and, and looking all, all wiped out like I was out getting drunk last night. I haven't had alcohol for years. I don't have any desire for that. I don't have any desire for illegal drugs or immoral uh, relationships with other people. So I just love to hear God's word and to share his word to the ends of the earth around the clock. That's what I'm about. So for people that um, question, have I, have I left the Great Commission? Am I, am I out, of, out, out of touch with what's really important? I get people that say, just share the gospel. Just share the gospel. Well, the gospel to people that believe it's a fairy tale is a fairy tale to them. When, when they find out that NASA is lying about all of that and all of the educational system, the news media worldwide are lying about our existence well then they've got if they're if they're paying attention they've got to do some serious thinking because if what they're relying on for their basis of reality is a lie and it is then they've got some considering to do they've got to look at it so that's what this is about it's about people like you and me I hope it's uh, like, like you, that you've decided that the truth is more important than anything else. <laughs> and that's, that's what I have found. The truth is more important. Uh, the way, the truth, and the life, the most important reality of this world. I'm going to head on home, turn this into a YouTube video, and fire this shot around the world on YouTube as well. If you like it, Please share it. Um, what, I, what I was going to continue, I just want to elaborate on this a little bit more. We can subscribe to 100 channels a day. We can have 2,000 YouTube subscriptions. Um, subscribing to a channel is a way of me saying, hey, I see you there. You might want to come over and take a look at my content. Or I may also share their content on my profile. That's also a very important aspect of this. I typically don't unfriend people that disagree with me. It's, it's if they become too much trouble, I, I may have to remove them as a friend. I typically don't block people. And I did that because I have the follow feature on Facebook. You can follow me. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Following me doesn't necessarily mean you agree with everything I'm doing or saying. You might just want to keep your eye on what I'm talking about. Um, there's a lot going on with artificial intelligence, the world central bank system. I don't leave anybody out in this. Um, if, if you're upset with how they're poisoning the food, the water, and the air, and you've got an active addiction that you know is bad for you, you may not have the power to say no to that. I didn't. That's why I say I thought I was born again until I actually was. There's a, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> there's a new operating system in me. Um, the Holy Spirit that created this world took up residence in me, killed the me that I was, deader than a hammer, the new person that you're looking at, listening to, only somewhat resembles the guy that I used to be. That's why this is such a big deal. So, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and encouragement, public and private. You can call me anytime if you care to. If you're concerned with me, uh, with something I'm saying or believing, you can call anytime. I do take calls. Please leave a message because I typically don't just take a call live unless I recognize the number. Uh, there's a lot of, I get, I get uh, solicited by things I'm not interested in. Um, attacks, uh, sexual sites and, and that, attacks. There's all kinds of stuff going on. But my phone number is 1-843-504-1776. The other thing is we all have access to worldwide communications if we have the internet or uh, can go to a hot spot and use even a deactivated phone that doesn't have a cell plan. You can use the, the Wi-Fi to use Facebook Messenger for worldwide communications if you care to. All right. Thank you so much for uh, liking, sharing, and your encouragement.